This video is made possible by my game bundle. Play 7 awesome games and help support the channel. Get the Steam Game Bundle at unitycodemonkey.com slash gamebundle. In this video we're going to look at the awesome top-down shooter I made in just 7 days. You can play it for yourself and here we're going to see how it was made. A lot of the elements I used were completely made from scratch in previous tutorial videos. Let's begin! Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and this channel is all about helping you learn how to make your own games with in-depth tutorials made by a professional indie game developer. So if you find the video helpful, consider subscribing. Alright, so here let's check out the top-down shooter I made. There are tons of elements and mechanics that were completely created from scratch in previous videos and put together in this nice minigame. The game is very quick and fully playable in your browser, so check the link in the description to play it for yourself. The webpage where you can play the game also has links to all of the elements that are used in the game, so you can go and see how they were built. As always, you can download the complete project files for this game from the website, and if you watch the videos for each specific element, you'll be able to easily understand how the game was made. And also, this video took a long time to make, and it's a bit of a different format than usual, so please do let me know what you think of this type of content, where I take a bunch of elements made in previous videos and make it into a complete game. For example, what other mini-games would you like to see made like this? Maybe a survival crafting game, maybe a city builder or a management game, something like that, so let me know in the comments. Ok, go ahead, pause the video and play through the game, check out all the mechanics and elements used and then come back here and continue. Alright, so if you're back here, I assume you've played through the game. Now as you saw, it contains quite a bunch of interesting features. If you've been following the channel for a while, you will have recognized a bunch of different elements. I always try to emphasize the value of writing clean reusable code, so my goal with this minigame is to show that in action. The reason why I was able to create something this complex in just a few days isn't because I worked 20 hours days, but rather because I reused a ton of elements made previously and put them all together into a nice complete experience. So over here in the editor you can see an overview of how the game is set up, how it's built, and all of the various scripts attached to all of the objects. Ok, so let's play through the game and I'll talk about all of the different things that were used. But before we do that, this video is made possible by my game bundle. Play awesome games and help support the channel by picking up the discounted bundle on the website. It contains 7 games in a variety of genres. Start off with some strategy in the Survivor Squad games, control your group of survivors and make sure you cover every corner. Then get your controller out for some action with a bit of strategy in Hyper Knights. Quickly dash around and demolish your enemies with a bunch of unique, really cool abilities. Capture castles and outposts while recruiting allies and demolishing enemy knights. Then work your brain with some management games. Build up your village, train ninjas and send them out on missions to get gold in Ninja Tycoon. Then set up a complex chain of resource gathering and process them to craft more complex objects and make a profit in Blueprint Tycoon. And then chill out by running your own game studio in the awesome GameCorp DX. By playing those games, you'll be able to see what I'm teaching here in action and you'll help ensure these videos stay free for everyone. So go to unitycodemonkey.com slash gamebundle and pick up the discounted game bundle. Ok, so here we are in the main menu, which as you can see it's extremely basic. Now when I click on play, it's going to load the game scene. So first of all, that one is using the scene manager that I covered in the loading video. And the buttons here have some nice behavior handled by the button class on the utilities. So let's start. And just like that we are transported into the game scene, and here you can already see a bunch of elements already in use. First there's the cinematic bars which show up and then hide themselves, then there's the camera follow system which is smoothly moving the camera to follow the player as well as the mouse position. As I shoot you can see that there are some sounds playing, those are handled by the sound manager. Ok, now let's go through this door and enter our level, and over here we start off with our two nice enemies. I tried to design the enemies to be simple but also unique. So as you can see, this one is a ranged enemy, so he's throwing some shurikens, and they have some very nice particles behind them and the projectile look great. Then over here we have the charger, which charges towards the player and it feels really great when I can dodge him. So now let's take care of them, and as I shoot them, and there you go, now the charger, and yep, there you go. Now the enemies are also using pathfinding, so let me go over here and take aggro from these, and there you go, now they are following me, correctly following the path, so that's the pathfinding, and they also have some very nice damage pop-ups, as you can see, when I shoot them, some nice damage pop-ups. 
And now over here we have another enemy with some really cool design, the shooting enemy. As you can see, there are these two lines merging together. And when the angle between them is zero, he fires and I get shot. However, if I dodge just before, you can see that I can dodge it because I keep some invulnerability frames whilst I'm dodging. All right, so let's take him out. And then over here in the corner, there's my nice second weapon. So it's a very nice shotgun. So when I shoot, you can see a whole bunch of different effects. First of all, there's the weapon tracer rounds. So you can visually see where you're shooting at. Then we have the bullet shell particles, as well as the enemy blood particles, which were made in the mesh particle system video. All right, so let's keep going. Now here on this side, you can see that the key that we need to grab in order to open up the door in there. And in this room, there's a really cool little script that I made to handle a battle. So I might make this into a separate video since it's a very nice little system. So as I touch the key, the door will close and some enemies will spawn. Okay, so let's go. And there you go, the door closes and the enemies get nicely spawned. And there you go, look at that nice, awesome dissolve effect as they get spawned. Yep, look at that, very nice. So now let me take care of all of these. There you go, there are quite a lot and the dodge works great. So I can keep dodging them, keep shooting them. And almost there. All right, so there they go. All right, so we're safe and over here we are carrying our key so we can now go back into our nice door. So this is where we're using the key door system we made previously. This is now the second game that I've used this system. You can also see it in action in the FPS game I made. So as you can see in the UI, I'm currently holding the blue key and here we have the blue door. And as I approach it, yep, an animation plays and the door is now open. All right, so let's keep going. And now over here we have a bunch more enemies. There's a charger, there's a nice ranged enemy firing shurikens and the particles look really nice. And on the enemies, you can already see when they die, they transform into a flying body and flies away and fires some blood particles. There you go, very nice. Okay, so over here is the red door and we need the red key. So let's go all the way in here. And then we have another nice enemy and it tries to hit. And there you go, take care of him. And then here we have our nice third weapon. So we have a rifle, pick it up. And there you go, now this one fires a lot more, a lot faster. Now here we have our key, and again, we have some more enemies being spawned with a very nice assault effect. So there you go, take care of all of them. And yep, very nice weapon. All right, so far so good. So now we can actually go back and open our nice red door. So let's open the door, go through it, heal up, and there you go. Now we have the final door going into our final boss fight. Now, if you've played the FPS game I made, then this boss fight will seem nicely familiar. The main difference is over here we have it in 2D instead of 3D. And the main boss is actually a sentry gun turret, which looks quite great. So he's all the way in there, I can't actually see him. Now, the sentry gun was actually made a real long time ago for Survivor Squad, so go pick up the game bundle in order to play that game. And now let's see if I can go through this boss fight and talk at the same time. Okay, so as I approach him, you'll see this door close behind us and then some enemies will start to be spawned. And there you go, yep, there's the enemy, the door closes, and now he starts shooting and some enemies will start being spawned. And in here I can still dodge him, and I can shoot him, and there you go, now he goes into the second stage. So a bunch more enemies continue being spawned, I gotta take care of them, and dodge them, and I gotta take out both of the shield transformers. And using the dodge is great for the invulnerability, so keep dodging, keep dodging, and take it out. And yep, there you go, now it's vulnerable again. And also some very nice health pop-ups. Yep, there you go. Okay, so now with the turret vulnerable, I can shoot it. And there you go, now we go into the next stage with even more transformers and even more enemies being spawned. So I constantly have to dodge everything and shoot them. And this is very, very hectic, but also the mechanics all work correctly and very nice with each other.
All right, so there you go. He's almost done. And keep shooting. And there you go. All the enemies get down. And as you can see, he dropped the green key and I picked that up immediately. All right, so just like that, we defeated our nice boss fight. Awesome. So that was really intense, but also a really great battle. So now let's heal up. And again, another shader effect when we heal is the nice sprite tint. And now with our nice green key, I can go all the way up here and open up the nice green door in order to win the level. So keep going over and over there we have our trophy and I go and I pick it up and there you go, I've won the nice minigame. So here you can see the cinematic bars showing up again as well as a nice zoom based on the camera system and an awesome animated outline effect made in shader graph. Alright, so this is the nice minigame I built these past few days. As you can see, it's pretty complex for something made in such a short amount of time. So the reason for that is simply due to the fact that a lot of these elements were made previously. Since the way we initially wrote them was using some nice clean code, they were easy to adapt and add onto this project. So I hope this serves as a great example as to why you should focus on writing clean reusable code. Now on the page where you play the game, you can see links to all of the elements that I use here. So if you want to see a specific element more in depth, then go check out those videos. You can also download the complete project files for this game from the website. And if you watch the videos for each specific element, you'll be able to easily understand how the game works. If there's a specific element you see in the game that I haven't covered, let me know in the comments. For example, I'd like to do a video on the battle spawner system. It's very simple, but it's a nice design. So I think it's something that can be applied to many other games. And also this video took a long time to make and it's a bit different from my usual format. So please let me know what you think. Do you like this format where I take a bunch of previously made elements and put them together into a complete game? What other mini games would you like to see made like this? Maybe a survival crafting game, maybe a city builder or a management game. Let me know in the comments. And if you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button and share it with a friend. That really helps out the channel a lot. So thanks for watching. And as always, you can download the project files and utilities from unitycodemonkey.com. Subscribe to the channel for more Unity tutorials. Post any questions you have in the comments and I'll see you next time.